Good day and welcome to my garage. Well, the casting's the casting's cooled down, so um, let's knock out this uh, blank and see what we've got. That came out relatively easy. That's okay. back when I've cut these off. As you can see it's uh, it's a bit rough around the edges but um, it will clean up on the lathe. I knew I was going to get this uh, this problem. The, um, the sand was dry and broke away but um, see how this finish here I think that's the sand too wet, but then the sand was too dry to and broke away up there, so I'm not too sure what goes on there. But it doesn't matter, we can um, machine it, it, um, it will serve its purpose, that's for sure. So it's, um, it's got some pretty big, pretty big pieces to knock down. I'll bring you back when I uh, get over this interrupted cut. Well, I've got this front part here cleaned up. I'm just um, working on the back just to just to clean it clean it up a bit. See how that looks. Looks terrible. <laughs> that back edge there looks terrible. We we'll need to get into that somehow. Um, that's going to be awkward. Okay, I've cleaned that up. I've now got to um, clean this face up. Machine that slot in there, or file, maybe file the slot. Come up pretty good. A couple of floors there, and that's just cleaning up. Nice and heavy, by the way. It's amazing, even that, that amount of aluminium is still relatively heavy. Okay. Let's uh, do something else.
just helps me see where I'm filing. The problem with this lot is um, a quarter, a, a quarter. I've got a quarter uh, tool steel to go into there, and I mistakenly used a five millimeter steel blank to go in there. So first, I've got a. Uh, it's a quarter is six point three or something mil. I can't remember now. So I've got about a millimetre to take out. But first I've got to be able to get my uh, file in there. And the... Uh, I'm using the second, the second cut at the moment. Because the bastard file won't fit in there. But we'll get there, we'll get there. I was thinking about putting this on the uh, saw table upside down, finding a way of getting it square and all that kind of business, and doing it with the uh, uh, with the tungsten tung the carbide bit, the carbide blade in the saw. Problem is the um, the steel shaft is uh, is just on the edge of the um, the bottom of, of this uh, trough. I don't want to run the risk of um, Hitting the hitting the steel um, hitting steel shaft on the carbide um, tungsten bits uh, blade, so I'll do it by hand. I have to go and get my uh, quarter inch bit so I know what size to run to. I still I know I still have to go further because the, this one still doesn't fit. I still have to work, work it out so I can get the rough uh, file in there. Anyhow, this will entertain me for a while. Found a, <clears throat> found a different way of uh, attacking it. Let's see if this will work. Seems to be working.
Oh yes. That will work beautifully. Beautiful. It's got to go down about another 10,000. That's it. That's it. Still might cut the whole thing a little bit deeper. Yeah, now is to uh, get the depth without cutting too much of the side. Alright, that's a good depth. Just got to scrape that centre again. That's good. That's good. Well, I've got that slot finished. Now I'm just going to uh, drill and tap. I think it's three. Um, can't remember what size, but they'll be small. Cap screws into there. Lock that in place, beautiful. Look at that. Come up really nice. Okay, we've um, just doing the last last bit on the um, fly cutter. Um, I've cleaned it up, changed the shape there a bit. It was you know just a 90 degree. I had it in the lathe holding it by the uh, the shaft and just difficult to get in there to clean it up nice and neat so it was easier just to use the compound slide and create an angle looks good looks good I've uh, filed that might have to go a little bit deeper because I've put I didn't have small enough uh, screws number six as he asked for well that's about four millimeters three point something I had five uh, tap and um, um, uh, grub screws, set screws. So I've, I've put them down low in the step, which will mean I'll have to drop the tool about a millimetre, maybe half a millimetre, to, um, to get it to engage. But not a problem, not a problem. But apart from that, it's uh, it came out really nice. 
Yeah. So, I've already drilled and pre-threaded these. I just haven't, uh, I just haven't run them all the way through. So, that's what I'm doing now, is just running them all the way through. And, uh, we'll be in business. It's catching on something. Probably a steel shaft. Alright, I'll have to look at that. Catch you later. Oh, there we go. Drilled, tapped, set screws. Set screws are a little bit short, but it um, doesn't matter. They will definitely do the job. There we go, one gingery fly cutter. It's got a fair bit of weight to it. The steel, the steel one would be uh, considerably heavier then, wouldn't it? But even so, it takes a quarter inch or six mil uh, tool, uh, tool lathe cutter and uh, five eight shaft. So. Uh, I look forward to using it. Okay, catch you later. Bye. That's a pretty big bite.